This week marks 70 years since a ceasefire agreement brought the fighting in the forgotten war to an end. Thanks for joining us. I'm Sarah Feely. Today at Memorial Park in Omaha, Korean War veterans gathered to mark the occasion and remember the comrades they've lost and gained since then. KETV News Watch 7's Josh Cristianto has the story. Gray cast effigies standing beneath the skies, a solemn reminder of a forgotten war. People didn't recognize the Korean War for a long time, you know. A sign reads silence and respect for the thousands who died and the thousands still missing. We're the first Marines in Korea, yes. August the 2nd, 1950. Oh, Marine Corps veteran Rex Gruber remembers the battles and still carries his wounds in more ways than one. The two-time Purple Heart recipient hasn't forgotten the friends he lost. I never forget. I, I still, still breaks my heart to talk about it sometimes, you know. But the Korean War lasted for three years, the remnants of which carry on to this day between the still divided North and South Koreas. For the many veterans here, the years after the war became a chance to connect. We were in business together for about 40 years. I barbered for 65 years. He out, he out barbered me when I was 62 years. Those fighting in the war never lost sight of their call even to defend a country they never knew and a people they never met. It was a thing as you were proud to be able to do that, you know, and for, fight for the South Koreans, you know. And for it, the soul of a nation carries on in freedom. Reporting at Memorial Park in Omaha, Josh Cristianto, KTV News Watch 7.